Hey everyone, Don with Brazia Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is kind of an odd one. I've gotten quite a few of these requests in the last couple days and I'm not quite sure why, so I thought I'd make a video. It's basically how to take a three-way single coil style guitar, add a five-way switch but with a master tone and a master volume. On a Telecaster it's known as like a Nashville Tele. Otherwise on a Strat it's just simply you're just going to have a master volume and a master tone. It's pretty simple, so let's get started. Okay, I'm looking at the components. They're pretty simple. We've got our three single coil pickups. We've got a five-way selector switch, a volume pot, a tone pot, and obviously our output jack. Now to make things easier, as I always do, I labeled the lugs on a switch. It's A1234 on the left side, B1234 on the right side, and on the pots, it's going to be L1, L2, and L3. Keep in mind, I do not change the order in case I invert the pot. As always, we start with grounding. I use the top of the volume pot as my central grounding point, and I'm going to ground the top of the tone pot to that. Keep in mind, always on a volume pot, lug L3 is grounded, so please make sure you do that. To wire the output jack, we're going to take ground and go to the ring portion of the output jack, and we're going to take a wire from L2 of the volume and go to the tip portion of the jack. To wire up the capacitor, we're going to take one lead and ground it to the top of the tone pot. The other is going to go to L3 of that tone pot. Now, you can use whatever value and whatever type of capacitor you want. So if you want a 0.015 or 0.022, go ahead. If you want a paper and oil, you want an orange drop, doesn't matter. To wire the neck pickup, we're going to take the hot and go to A3 on our five-way switch. And the ground is going to go to our central point on the top of the volume pot. For the middle pickup, again, we're going to take the lead and go to A2 on our five-way switch and the ground again going to the top of the volume pot. Lastly, for our bridge, we're going to take the lead and go to A1 on the five-way switch and the ground again going to the top of the volume pot. Now, to wire up the switch, we're going to take a jumper from A4 up to B1 on the five-way switch. We're going to then take a wire from B1 to L1 of the volume pot and lastly, from L1 to L2, so L1 on the volume pot to L2 on the tone pot. Now, for those of you who've watched my other videos, yes, you can eliminate the jumper from A4 to B1 and go directly from A4 to L1 of the volume pot. I kept that wire in there in case you're using a switch that already has that jumper in place. You don't have to try and take it off. doesn't matter. The functionality is the same. And there you go, a pretty simple wiring scheme. This is what it will look like on a Stratocaster when you're done. And on a Telecaster, this is the exact same wiring. Now, some guys have asked what happens if you want to move the switch from the front to the back of the control plate. Doesn't matter, you'll wire it up exactly the same, so just follow this diagram. Well, there you go. Hopefully that was easy enough for you guys. If you have any questions on this wiring scheme, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone. It's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.